everyone. Today I'm going to do another top 10. I know, I told you I was going to keep doing these top 10s and I meant it. I've got a list and I am going through it. So the title is Top 10 Books That Will Make You Swoon. And I don't know why I did that. Now, the definition of swoon is faint from extreme emotion. What I gather swoon to be is romantic, to be like, oh, he is so swoon worthy or this book just makes me swoon. To me, swoon is about romance and feeling all of the emotions. Like swooning to me it's just all of the love, all of the love, and all of the feelings. As always, I get a lot of my top 10 ideas videos from the Broken the Bookish websites. They have a feature called Top 10 Tuesday, and I get all their ideas from there. So thank you, Broken the Bookish, for coming up with these awesome ideas. So these are 10 books. Now, a lot of these, I'm not going to lie to you, are contemporary books because I feel like those are mostly with love. There are a couple fantasy and a couple of, you know, sci-fi and stuff like that to throw in there that I thought as well are swim worthy as well. But I just want to throw the disclaimer out there that a lot of these are contemporary so don't be disappointed I really tried to include other type of books in it and also these top 10 are not in any order as all of my top 10s are they're just 10 books that I picked that I really like that I think fit the category so today we're obviously talking about books that make me swoon and hopefully books that'll make you swoon it's just all of the swoon so let's begin the top 10 together shall we no swoon list would be complete without Stephanie Perkins. Stephanie Perkins writes some of the best swoon worthy books. I particularly picked Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This is filled with so much swoon. This is about a girl named Anna who she goes to boarding school in Paris and then she meets a guy named Etienne St. Clair and they have all of the swoon worthy love and it's just an amazing love story and this will definitely make you swoon. Like I think so. I'm, I'm gonna be rest assured with that. It's another swoon worthy contemporary I picked that I just really think is very swoon worthy in my opinion. It's My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Patrick. This is one of her three books that she's written and by far my favorite. This is about a, it's literally what the title says. Her name's Samantha who lives next door to this family called the Garrett. They're loud and in particular she has her eye on Jace and they have a romance and it's so swoon. It's so just it's such a cute little love story. I don't know why. Just go with it. But I thought it's definitely, it'll make you swoon. The romance in this is just Oh, so good. So, so good. Buckle your seatbelts, because I'm going to be talking about some epic romance right here with this book I'm going to talk about, or this trilogy, as I should say. Frontal Devices by Cassandra Clare. You want some epic romance and some fantasy and some paranormal? Look no further. This will give you all three. This series is an amazing series. I love it. It's a great trilogy. Like I said, it's got the fantasy element. It's got a lot of paranormal stuff in it. And it's got such an epic love story. And it's like... It's just all of the epic love, all of the swoon you want in here will be with Will Herondale and Jem Carstairs. You want to talk about some swirly crushes? I mean, this right here will give you all of them. This is the last book in the trilogy. The first one, if you want to venture into it, is Clockwork Angel. So definitely check that out because the swoon is just amazing in this. Like, it'll make you swoon for sure, I guarantee it. I mean, I'm a little hair and girl through it through. Okay. Another contemporary for you, just so this camera, this is an adult one, and this is I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. I love Sophie Kinsella. Sophie Kinsella is my favorite adult contemporary writer, chiclet writer, whatever you want to classify it under. I've Got Your Number is my favorite by hers. I listened to this actually via audio, and let me tell you, I felt all of the swoons, all of the feels with that. The epic romance, the, oh, it was, it was, it was beautiful. It was beautiful to listen to, and I had, I love the audiobook so much I had to buy the book because it was just amazing. This is about a girl named Poppy who loses her engagement ring and then all of a sudden she gets connected to this guy named Sam and it is just so funny. It's number one, it's funny, it's got this great romance in it and it's just, it's amazing. It made me feel all of the swoons. Is that the way you say that? Feeling the swoons? Let's just call it that. I felt all of the swoon. It made me swoon. Whatever. Swoon, swoon, swoon. I feel like... That's a weird word now. You know how when you say a word over and over again and it kind of loses meaning to you? That's what it's like for me right now. Swoon. Swan. Swam. Swoon. Anyway. Another one I really like is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I've talked about this a lot on my channel. I continue. I will continue to because number one, it's an amazing book. Number two, it'll definitely make you swoon. It'll also make you cry. Just make sure when you read this book to have some tissues and some chocolates, whatever your comfort food is, because you're going to need it. It's going to make you happy, and it's also going to make you very sad, and it'll also, it'll also make you smooth. And this will be a movie coming very soon, so if you want to read it before it comes out of a movie, which I recommend. Do it. So good. So swoon worthy. Another swoon book. This is a fantasy book, and that is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. 
all of the romance and all of the swoon-worthy feels are in this book. This this book got really steamy, I will say. Is, is that okay to say? Is that okay? It was very, very good. I really liked it. It was my favorite book of last year. I love the romance in it. I love where it's going somewhat with some characters. But if you're interested in this, this is a very loosely based retelling of Beauty and the Beast only to with fairies. And it's just the romance in this alone is just to die for. Like it made me feel all the swoons. Like I did want to faint from extreme emotion after reading this book for sure. Amazing book. If you're looking, if you're not into the fantasy name because she also writes Throne of Glass, I'd still recommend reading this because the romance in it is just, it's on point, way on point. Like. It's a step above a point. Perhaps my favorite swoon-worthy contemporary book is going to be also awarded the worst cover ever. <laughs> and that's going to be Crash and Eat by Katie McGarry. This is part of the Pushing the Limit series, which I like, I don't love, but this book, this book, if you have read Pushing Limit and you like it and you're like, forget the series, pick up this book. This is the third book in the series. It doesn't matter if you haven't read the other books, just seriously pick it up. So, so swoon worthy, so romantic, so steamy, so everything. And the, don't let the cover fool you because the cover is horrendous. It is horrendous. But it is such an amazing book. I will always recommend it because steam, swoon, one to faint, or mixing your emotion, check, check, check. Another horrible cover, but also really good book, is Perfect Chemistry by Simone Ackles. I don't know what it is about really great contemporaries not having some good covers. I mean, we have to fix that. We need to fix that, guys. We gotta fix it. The book is also very, very steamy, very romantic, very amazing. The cover, again, is horrible, but definitely made me feel all the swoons, made me feel like it'll make you swoon. Kind of an older contemporary novel, but I hope, maybe it has a different cover. Here's to hoping because amazing book, horrible cover. Even old school here, and no, not ashamed at all. Not ashamed. I definitely felt very swoon like. What is the proper way to say that? When I was reading this, I felt it very swoon worthy. I definitely feel like this is a swoon worthy book. Is that how you say it? I don't know. People are really mad at me right now. I'm sorry. I just get excited when I talk about books and all thoughts of being grammatically correct go out the window. Uh, is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. Yes, a lot of you may hate that, but I definitely, I was 16, 17 around when I read this, and let me tell you, I felt all of the swoon from it. Did I faint from extreme emotion? I mean, almost. I haven't really fainted from a book yet, but this would come close. I loved it. Edward looked at Bella and all the feelings and the way Bella looked at Edward and all the feelings and all the intense stares and all of the heartfelt things and all of the I want you Bella, I want you Edward. Yeah, it was swim worthy to me and it will always be swim worthy. So yes, it's, I mean, I don't know why it's cheesy, okay, but 17 year old me, even now, loved it. The last series I want to talk about, I'm going to mention all the books because I think all of the books are great for school movie books. And that and that's going to be the Lunar Chronicles. It is four books. The fifth the fourth book is actually with a frame right now, so apologies, but it involves Cinder, Scarlet, and Crest. And each one of these follows more more or less a uh, main protagonist with interweaving characters, but they all have their own romance stories. So the first one you have Cinder, which by the way this is a fantasy fairy tale retelling. So Cinder is loosely based on Cinderella. So you have Cinder and Kai. Amazing. Second book we have Scarlet loosely based on Little Red Riding Hood. So we have Scarlet and Wolf. Love. And then Cress is based on Rapunzel, which we have Cress and Thorn. <sighs> Are they my favorite? Yeah. That might be my favorite. And last one is Winter, which is based on Snow White, which we have Winter and Jason, Jack and Jackwin. I pronounced the name wrong. But oh, so much epicness, so much swoon worthy, so swoon worthy. Definitely pick it up. It's a great fantasy book, but it's also got great love in it for sure. So that was my top 10 books that will make you swoon, and I hope that they will. And if you've read any of these and you feel the same feelings I have of swoonness, swoon, oh my gosh, this word, I need to stop saying it. Like, it's messing me up. But if you've read any of these books and they made you feel the same way I felt, like lots of the swoon, lots of the love, please let me know. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more bookish, swoonish, bookish, swoonish, bookish, swoonish. Woo, that sounds like weird. Bookish, swoonish, bookish. <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go. Thank you for watching. Bye.